I think you two should be shirtless, Locky. I'm not putting my nips on the YouTube here. Just, just, just place your shoulder straps properly. Anyway, on, on, start. Yep. Okay. Check, check, check. And uh, prop okay. all. Prop's already up. It's already spooled up, so you're good to do it. Okay. That's it. And I'll, I'll get the Oshkosh stuff sorted out if you just want to focus on that, moving the plane. That sounds excellent. There's only a little bit of nose wheel with this guy. And kind of our biggest hazards are our wingtips taxi. Yeah. There's a couple of huts on the way down here that they try and taxi you into, which are not super fun. It's amazing how close they let you get to that runway. Yeah. Taxing, you know? Well, and how close they have you pull up for like the way old to what would normally be a safety area. He yeah. says, come there, so you can cut inside that cone. Well, yeah, I'll just go to the cone, then we don't yeah. have to. Well, yeah. yeah. Don't drive over any cones. Yeah, that's my that's, thought. That's a bad, bad idea. Oh, wow. These are the huts you're talking about? Yeah, so on the huts, no, well, that one's not so much. They got kind of these huts up here. You want to kind of bias, and they'll yell at you to stay in the center. Because our wing goes over all of the GA, like any of these GA right. planes, that wing goes over. But, but not the, the hut. The huts, look how close that is. Yeah, right? so that kind of one's even taller. Kind of creeps me out a little bit. You don't want to be that guy who has the Instagram of cleaning off a hut with your caravan, right. unloading a bunch of people. I mean, I think the sign will say when we get up there what frequency no. to monitor, but we're good on the right wing for sure. You're good on the right wing, you go over everything pretty much, except for amphibs. Like any of this stuff, you go over. Okay, now we got two huts up here. Yeah, dude. I mean, and if you're in doubt, just slow down. Uh, and then, like, here's a challenging one, because yeah. you gotta, like, go on the road, right. and then you gotta, like, dip. You right. do not want to go straight, because you can hit that hut. I don't know whether you actually okay. hit it, but it's concerningly close. Oh, uh -huh. your co pilot here is I think killing it. If they're going 3 6, I know kind of how that works. I just don't know the free. Right, right. That's, that's, the right that's what we're, 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 we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Yeah, 189, that's the one, and they'll be hitting a 150 till yep. we're out of the. Uh, yeah, at or below 1300. Delta, yeah. You know. Which basically just puts us to the lake. Right, exactly. And we might be able to go out in the middle. We might have to go over to shore. Yeah. We'll kind of see what it looks like. At yeah. least the wind's died down quite a bit from earlier. Right, right. right this is 13. I uh, know we're talking. Uh, you can okay. whack on all those lights over there. Okay. So there's lights. two rows. There's oh. six switches. Yep. Bring them all up. Yep. Let me. Uh, okay. Zero Golf heading one five zero front of the tower. Three six left. Clear for takeoff. At or below one thousand. We're good on the right. Clear the We're good on the right. I got this guy in front of you. Yep. Wants you to do something. He's telling us to take a right. Yeah. Which is what we intend to do. You're looking good. This pontoon's on the pavement. Nice turn. All aircraft departing. Uh, three six left. One five zero heading prior to the tower. Okay. Below one thousand three hundred. Okay. Uh, white low wing. Three six left. Line for weight. Uh, the one thing we gotta go is we gotta go high idle on the fuel, which will bring yeah. up the thrust. We can do that now. Actually. Okay. Go there ahead. So that'll bring up your idle thrust. You got this guy wants you to keep coming. That's us. Sweet, dude. That's it. Doors closed. Yep. Hold short. Hold short. Hold short. We got this guy landing right here. So you rotate about 78, we're going to climb out about 100 knots, yep. we'll work the flaps up in notches, we'll keep the flaps down until we're through the turn. Sounds good to me, just like last year. Yeah, you can bring the gear up in the turn, but the yeah. flaps drop it quite a bit, so they keep it out. One old guy, looks like they're going to squeeze in. All over the country, this is the chase plane for the cross country stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, it's an interesting choice, everyone was like, what? And it was just like, it was the best thing. Carry a bunch of people. Yeah. Can go slower than a PC-12 for sure, you know? It's like kind of, it was just the best thing in the end. It was ridiculous though, but. Uh, and then on the takeoff, Matt, you gotta stay nice and low on the torque. You can't just firewall it. So, target about 100 below that red line and the ram will take care of the rest. Yeah. And I'll, I'll call you out on that if you're out. Julia Papa, 36 left, clear for takeoff. Yeah, so you kind of you whack off that governor a couple times. You right. hit the governor. Yeah, keep bringing it up. Make sure you're off the brakes so we don't blow out. Yep. The girl. Yeah, more power, more power. Remember, you can use that kind of lower grip on the throttle. Yeah. So they get a little bit more finesse on it. This is looking really good. All right, power set. Leave it where it is, and it'll just hang out. You don't really have to gut it. All right, coming up through. Yeah, you got another ten knots to go. 
All aircraft departing nice. runway 36 left, heading on the 50 Fire Control Tower, at or below 1,300 MSL. Whack that gear up if you want. Gotta pull it out and up, yep, yeah, nice. The Leviathan. What's that? The Leviathan, yeah. it's like the lake monster. It's so big. It's, it's awesome. 8,000 pounds of like greatness. flying pontoon boat. Oh, it's awesome, I love it. Oh, dude, I have not seen any white caps out there. We should be able to go out. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, this, this is awesome. Yeah, let's see if we get. Yeah, the water looks great. We'll hop out, go for a little sunset swim, and get back to the airport. Oh, oh look at all those seaplanes oh, down yeah. here. We'll do a woods check. So, what yep. do we got? We got, I think it's a northerly. I call it just like straight up and down the lake. Seems like a reasonable assumption. Yeah, okay. or is it more out of the west? Oh, kinda, well, let's, I, let's see what the let's see what the airport says too. Yeah, I think it's more out of the west. Two nine zero at seven. Yeah, yeah so it's like northwest. Yeah, because you can see kind of those streaks on the lake yep. going this way. We'll do wanna... woods, woods. So we got wind. So let's yep. call it you know in the direction of these streaks. So that'll be our lineup. Obstacles. We don't really have anything on the approach unless you went like all the way over there. Obstructions in the water. I got one boat there, one boat there. We got a bunch of birds. We don't really want to hang out with. Um, depth is kind of the concern. So there's a sandbar back there. But like as we get out here, it's looking better. Yeah. Kinda. I mean, this has a pretty shallow draft anyway. It does. Yeah. But it does. So this is looking pretty good out here. It's a. Yeah. And then depth is good. Surface is good. We got light waves. Nothing too crazy. I'm not seeing any white caps. It'll be a little bumpy, but nothing too crazy. Yeah. And then F Gump. So working your first notch of flap. It's good all the way up to V and E. Is that okay? All the way up to V and E on that first guy. You can start rolling back your power. And, yep. And then what are you gonna, you're just gonna do like a left or a right? Yeah, I'm just calling this like a left downwind right okay. here. Sounds good. We'll get configured before we roll on a final. So looking good. So flaps. So now you're good for second flap. That's below 150 knots. All right, and then gear takes a really long time, Matt, so start doing that right now, and I would just extend right, wait, your base or something. Wait, 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 what do we want with the gear? b &E. It's all good, but all the way up to b &E. But we want the gear oh, up. You want we're, gear landing, up. we're landing That's in the water. That's correct. Good yeah, catch. Like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just time. testing you. Yeah. I'm, I'm testing you. Okay. All right, cool. So, looks like the wave direction, yeah, we're kind of that way. We're landing into the sun. That's not awesome. Want to take more of like a northerly cut? Huh? Yeah, maybe. I mean, you see how those streaks there yep. kind of going this way. I'm thinking yep. we just head out here, and then it's that sounds great. Nice and deep. Uh, bring the power back, and we'll target 85 knots for the yeah. touchdown. Okay. I'll try to inhibit full, this. Full flaps. No, you're good where you are. We'll do two. Okay. And I'm heading down. So yeah. You're up plan. I'll bring the speed down before we touch down. Then remember, we yeah. want to be nose high. Yep. On the touchdown. Basically, just kind of set up for like 80 ish knots and then just yep. kind of hold that. So, we got that attitude. boat, we got two boat wakes up here, right? So, we right. want to be down before them. We got one boat off the nose. We're good though. Water right. landing. Yep. Bring water that landing speed down for yep. me. Yep. Yep. Bring and the nose up. Uh, we got that boat right. off the left. No other boats. Okay. Keep that nose up. Nose Here's up, nose up, up for water landing. Up. Looking good. I like it. I like it. Just hold that pitch and let it idle on the thrust. Yep, nice. And we'll just let it kind of water ski out here. Yeah. The caravan, you don't want to dig the tail in. You want to let it ski for a bit, otherwise you kind of bend up those floats. Right. As we get slow here, they'll kind of come it'll, all the way back. It'll kind of fall by itself, yeah. yeah. I'll bring your flaps up, bring your motor to low idle. You can turn off the lights so you don't look like a goober. And Do you want to shut down here? Yeah, we'll shut down here. This is looking good. So this is pretty much into the wind. Yep. I reckon we go straight up, kind of actually to the right. So there's a boat right there. There's another boat right there. But I'm, out, kind of to I'm the just, north is I'm clear. I'm thinking this is kind of into the wind because this is where we, uh, this is the direction we turn. And the water rotors are up, right? Water rotors are up. Yeah. yeah it they make a bunch of drag. Yeah. And you can ding them if you land yeah. on land. I just want to make sure. All right. So. I don't know. Do you want to go right a little bit? Yeah, I think almost like all the way right, dude. So like do a little bit of a crosswind, and then we don't have to mess with these boats. We don't have to worry about the island or the sand or any of that crap. And we go like north up the lake. Do you want high idle? Yeah, we can. I was just going to get the turn going, but uh, we can go right idle. to high idle. 
Yeah, and remember we don't want too much uh, power on the plow or otherwise. Yeah. Here comes the nose. That's there it goes. Right. Here it goes. It's, you know, we got maybe another 30 degrees to go in heading. Pull away on that pedal. Yeah, well, that's where we're And at. then we'll just bury the stick all the way back and bring that power up. Yep. Mike, do you want me to do the power or are you good at no, all? No, I, I got it. All right, we got a little bit to go on that boat. It's yeah. about to go under the horizon. Or under the cowling. All right, here we go. Gauge is green. Panel's clean. We're good. Power is set to take off. All right, so second rise is right about there. Now just go neutral and it'll take a while to fall yeah. down on that step. Yeah, I'll just let it fall. Maybe a little push to get it down. That looks good. You got that boat in sight, Matt? Yeah, he's off the left. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So Both we'll let it right accelerate. Now. You're accelerating nice and slowly. Keep there it straight go. and you all day you go. That looks good. Okay, we'll wait till 50 and then we'll tug one float out of the water. Okay. There's 50. Yep, get one out. That'll get you a little bit more speed. Yep, keep that nose down. Bring that other float out. And we are aviating. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Cool, man. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, it's a long run, huh? I mean, yeah. we're pretty heavy, so. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so we can head up to Warbird and I'll stop. I'll get the frequencies and stuff figured out. Up at 2800 up at Warbird. It's uh, back here off your left. That island over there. We'll make a climbing right turn. Okay, sounds good. You got traffic off the right. Let me. Let me figure out and how you... Power is 26.6. 26.6, that's right. I got that in here. Okay, cool. Okay, and we are up on comp one. Uh, you can bring traffic. that flat. Actually, we'll just keep We'll keep it down, and then we'll just bring the gear out. And Because uh, I was kind of configuring by Warbird, that way you're not messing around close to the airport. Yeah. Cool. I see that island. It uh, uh, looks like we got no real competition yeah. for Warbird, so... All aircraft inbound, airport closes in one five minutes, and needs to be on the ground in one zero minutes. Perfect. Is anyone still approaching fifth on this frequency? Yeah. Wow, sounds like it's kind of dead, huh? Yeah. yeah I mean, cool, we got the whole airport to ourselves. Yeah. 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 It's kind of dead. Tail dragger that's on the runway left turn. We probably could have brought this up for the climb, but now it's yeah. like, whatever, or you know? The, oh, the yeah, yeah. flaps, yeah. It makes a big difference. Oshkosh Tower, White Caravan, Warbird Island. White Caravan, Roger, uh, report two mile final, runway 36 left. Two mile final, 36 left, White Caravan. I get that gear down, it is really slow. All right, as soon as you can, left turn in the grass. Yeah, pull around, right all the way down, now we wait. All right, we've got four there, so selected, indicated, and I so see it out my window. VFR arrival, go ahead and give me a call. Okay, flap scamps, flap set, gas is good, we got both tanks on, and it's reasonably well. Actually, I'm gonna shut off your right tank here to try and get a little bit more balance. We're, we're within limits. Our gas is good, undercarriage is down. Mix is good, your high idle, props all the way up, switch is good, seatbelt's good, speed's good. We'll bring it down to about, I don't know, 80, 85 knots here on final. So did you finally, did you actually go to caravan school on this or did you just no, I, yeah, no. have a little bit more life experience with the airplane? About 150, 200 hours. Caravan, you can go ahead and point it straight to the numbers. Runway 36 left, clear to land. White caravan. Bring it all the way idle, just feel what it does up here, all the way, all the way to that stop. Oh yeah, you're like, <laughs> isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's like, you don't have to be great at doing approaches, you just feel like, I want to come right. down now, and it's just like, you know? It's pretty sweet. I think we're going to need just a little bit of power though. Yep. Whatever you need. Gear is down and for runway landing. Do you remember yes, it is. you acknowledge that with that? It comes on about 100 knots, so if you keep flickering through that, you'll hear yeah. it a couple times. Uh, three six left. We'll yeah. uh, I think yeah, get a couple, a little bit more left. To the numbers, yeah, that sounds yeah. great. And then um, you remember how the beta gate works? So you lift yeah, you up. Lift this yep, thing, yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. And at high flare, like really yeah, yeah. high. You know, it's like a houseboat. I kind of look at it as like just like landing on the water. You just kind of hold yeah, that there. Exactly. And then when it, you kind of yeah. feel you're like, okay, yeah, now we're now we're flying. Yeah, you, you don't want to be trying to hit a spot if you haven't flown it much, you know, because that, that's how you really kind of bash it. But yeah, yeah. if you kind of do like a, I think, I think we hit all the spots last. A year. glossy water landing yeah, right, right, works well. Purple mountain, third lane. Where are you parking? That. Uh, we're going to new seaplane parking. Where are you parking, sir? Seaplane parking. Okay. Looking really good though. I mean, you could you could even go back to 80. And the other thing too with that glossy water, whatever, right? Like you can you can bring it down to the ground on the numbers and then kind of feel it out right. to the purple, right? Yeah, no, That'll sure. give you. And dude, gonna, yeah, you're not going to crease it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. The gear uh. is the gear is really challenging. I cannot crease this thing. But you can you can 
We can show me you show me how yeah. it's done, dude. Oof, not very far off, maybe 20 feet off the ground, believe yeah. it or not. Warbird arrival 3, P51, just south of the feet. Lock, request direct initial. There you go, that'll work. He's a little, add a little power, cushion it. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go, Wilbur's nice. Flight, you know what, proceed nice. direct to uh, that was pretty good. one mile Thank initial you. runway 361.